Welcome back to Weeby Kids. In today's resource, I'm going to be teaching you a knot and a couple of lashings that you're going to find really, really useful for some of our other resources. Some of our craft activities use a clove hitch knot, square lashing or a figure of eight lashing. Once you've mastered these skills as well, you can take them on and make all kinds of things. Uh, we've made things like rafts and even big tree houses using these skills. So in order to learn these knots and lashings, we're going to need some materials. We're going to need three pieces of wood. I'm using wooden dowels here, but any sticks are fine. We're going to need one piece of rope, um, it's about as thick as your little finger, and it's about a metre in length. And we're also going to need a second piece of rope, which is about half the thickness of this piece, which is two metres in length. So first of all, I'm going to teach you the clove hitch knot. And for that, you're going to need your, your thicker piece of wood and one stick. So um, in order to do this, what I'm going to do, I'll just put my stick there for now. I'm going to take the rope and I'm just going to lay an end of it down on the table here. Now I'm going to begin by using my left hand. I'm going to grab the end of the rope in my left hand. Now that left hand is just going to stay holding rope throughout this whole knot. My right hand is going to do most of the action. So with my right hand, I'm going to grab by my left hand. I'm going to slide along. I'm going to make a, a hump, like a camel's hump in the rope. And then I'm going to twist to the front by bringing both thumbs together, just like that. When you lay it down like that, it looks a little bit like a, a small E. Then I'm going to do the same with my right hand. I'm just going to slide out. I'm going to push up to make a hump and then I'm going to twist over like so. You're going to be left with um, what might look like spectacles. Then I'm going to take the first hoop that I made. I'm just going to pick it up and place it on top of the second hoop like so. I'm then going to take my stick and I'm going to pass both hoops through the stick. I'm going to hold both ends of the rope and pull them like so. Now here you'll just see two, two hoops, but when we turn it over, we can see this, this cross section. So this knot is called a clove hitch knot. It's used for attaching rope to an object. Um, it's a gripping knot, so whenever you apply tension to that, it just pulls tighter and tighter. It's excellent for crafting and also for uh, bushcraft activities too. Um, so the next skill that I'm going to teach you is something called a square lash. And a square lash is really, really great for attaching two objects together and holding them firmly. Um, some great things that we've built using this include a raft that we've sailed on the river and also a, a huge tree house as well. It's a really good way of building large or small items without using nails, um, without using screws, just using wood and your rope. Now for this, we're going to need your two pieces of wood and you're going to need your longer piece of string. Now, this is about two metres long, but the thickness of your sticks will determine the length of, of rope that you need. If your sticks are much thicker, then you're going to need a longer piece of rope. If they're thinner, then you'll get away with a, a smaller piece. So what we're going to do to begin with, we're going to tie our clove hitch knot, which is going to attach our rope to our piece of wood. So just like we did before, holding with the left hand, pushing up to make a hump, twist in front like so. And again, push up, twist in front. First one is stacked on top of the second one, like so. And then we just pop it through and pull like that. Okay, we can see it just there. Now for the purpose of this lashing, it's really important that we keep a, a tail here. Now, I'd suggest a little bit longer than that. So I'm just gonna extend that. There we go, like so. 
and it will become apparent shortly why we're keeping that. So then the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to take our second stick and square lashing. Um, sometimes it's called cross lashing as well. And we're going to we're going to put a stick on the bottom and now a stick on the top, just like so. Now I'm just going to move my knot down so it goes. Sorry, I'm just going to move my knot up. So it goes just above, like so. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the long piece of rope here and we're going to do an over and under, over and under motion in a square. Now, for this, I'm going to call this stick, stick one, and this stick, stick two. So I'm going to begin by taking the rope and going underneath stick one. Now you'll notice that when I started there, I'm holding the rope really, really close to my last piece of action. So here I held it close to the knot, here I'm holding it close to the first motion of going under. And that's because it's easier to work with string the closer you are to your last action. So if I'm back here, it's really, really difficult to have control. So I've come under stick one, I'm going to come over stick two. I'm going to come under stick one and then I'm going to come over stick two. Now that's what it's called square lashing. If you'd have seen them we did four sides of a square. Now we're going to do that three times. So if you didn't get it first time don't worry I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to come under stick one, over stick two, Under stick one, over stick two. Now you may also have noticed there that as I'm doing it, I'm keeping the the rope really, really close to each other. And each time I go over and under, I'm pulling the rope really tight too. It's important that we keep this as tight as we possibly can. So let's do it one more time. Under stick one, pull tight over stick two pull tight under stick one pull tight over stick two pull tight i'm just going to go under stick one again after that okay so that is the main part of the lashing done and you'll notice when it's done it's got this this square section it looks the same on both sides now the next part which is a really important part is called frapping and what we need to do is we need to pinch these sections on both sides together and that's going to hold it tightly in place so what i'm going to do here i'm going to come back over stick one and then i'm going to go in the opposite direction to what i did before i'm just going to keep that out of the way so instead of going over and under, I'm just going to wrap around. So I'm coming around the back, back to the front there. When I pull it through, I'm going to pull it really tight. And there you should get to see it just tightening that whole lashing. I'm going to go around again. Like so, pull it really, really tight. And I'm going to go around a third time. Again. really tight. Now if you've got enough rope left, I'd say go around a fourth time. The, the tighter it is the better. So I'm going to come around a fourth time and just pull it really really tight. It should secure that whole lashing together. Now when you've done that, the little tail that I spoke about at the start, we're going to use that now and we're going to tie this off. There are a number of different ways you can tie off. You could put another clove hitch on here and just tie it onto this end, but sometimes you lose some of the tension. So I just like to do a, an overhand knot. So I go right on the left, through and pull. And then left over right, through and pull again. And by doing that, it will apply extra pressure there too. So then we are left with this square 
cross section. You'll notice it is, it's really, really secure on there. I'll just turn it over so you can see the other side too, just like so. So what tends to happen with this, um, we often make these into squares, so add pieces on either side, sometimes for a picture frame, sometimes if you're using a main frame for a tree house, um, and the more that you put on, the more secure it becomes as well. So even though that is still secure, the more you add, it will support each other as well. So that is the square lashing. And again, we use the clove hitch at the beginning. So now I'm gonna show you the figure of eight lashing. And for the figure of eight lashing, you're gonna need your longer piece of string again. You're gonna need three sticks or dowels. And I've got an additional stick here. Um, I'd recommend using this because when you do the figure of eight lashing, it's nice to have one end of your sticks just raised a little bit. So unlike the square lashing before, this lashing is a little bit different. The square lashing was a fixed lashing and it holds things securely together. The figure of eight lashing will hold things securely together, but it will also give them some movement as well. So this lashing is really good for making things like um, tripods. Tripods are excellent, very, very strong structure. Can be used for fun things like fairy houses, but can also be used for making secure shelters um, and also great for hanging a kettle over a, a campfire too. So the way we're gonna begin, I'm gonna take the longer piece of string and we're gonna begin by attaching the string to the center piece of stick once again using the clove hitch knot so right hand slide out i'm going to push up twist in front like so same again right hand slide out push up twist in front first one gets stacked on the second we pass it through and just pull now again be sure to leave a little bit of a tail it's going to come in in use just like it did with the square lash as well so we're going to do an over under over under action again but this time we're going to be doing it in a figure of eight so i'm just going to take my string again holding close to the last action i'm going to come under then over under the middle Oops, under the middle, over the end, like so. And then we do it again. I'm gonna come under, over, under, over. Now you can see that I've kept that quite loose just for the purpose of showing you, but it's really important that we try and keep that as tight as we possibly can. So I'm just gonna pull it tight together and then we're going to do it again. We're going to do it three times. So I'm going to come over, under, keep it nice and tight, over, back under. Okay. Over, under, back over, under. over and under okay so that's our main figure of eight section done but with any lashing the key part is the frapping section so they are held together but to really secure them we've got to frap them so again we're just going to try and pinch these sections here together so the way i'm going to do that is i'm just going to come back over and I'm just going to change the direction and I'm going to be wrapping around here. So down there. It's really important that we pull that really tight. So around. Pull it really tight. Around again. Pull it really tight. One more time. I like to do three, but again, if you have enough rope, 
feel free to do a fourth. The, the key here is getting it really tight. So if you've got rope, then use it. And I'm going to come across the center one. And I'm going to come down in between there. We're going to pinch these together. So that same action you just did on the last one, coming through, pull it tight, over again, through. Keep that little tail out of the way. Don't want to tie that in with it. Again, like so. Pulling tight. Just like so. Pull it tight each time. Again, they should be close together and it should look nice and neat. Then just to finish, I'm just going to tie an overhand knot again. So I'm going to come left over right and through and pull. And then over left through and pull. Like so. So you're going to see this is the, the finished lashing. So if you turn it over there, we can see these are where we did the figure of eight bits. And this is where we did the frapping to hold it together. And as I mentioned before, this is a movable lashing. So they are, they are all held together, but you've got some movement in it. So, so you can make uh, tripod structures and things like that too. So thanks for stopping by and checking out this resource. We hope that you've enjoyed learning the clove hitch knot, the square lashing and the figure of eight lashing. And we look forward to seeing you putting them to use in some of our other resources. Bye.